a drug addict. She did not mean for this to happen. Amy suffered with depression and anxiety for almost eight years, of her 18 years. And depression is real, and it's not something you can just make go away or to be embarrassed of or ashamed of. Three weeks ago, Amy decided to take herself off her medication. And it wasn't the first time that she had tried, but she just wanted to try it without her brain chemical balancing drugs. Amy lived in two worlds. She lived in the real world, and she lived in her escape world. When Amy was in her real world and on her medication, she did so well. She was focused and happy, tired at times from her medication, but she surrounded herself positive and focused and fun people. When she was in her escape world, she turned to stray what I call to the uncrowd, the unemployed, the undereducated, the unmotivated, and most importantly, the unguided. I think she felt safe with these people because they didn't seem to care if she didn't live up to her full potential. They are as lost as she was. Amy was always rooting for the underdog, always telling everybody, you can do it, you can do it. And it is okay to be different and to hold your head high, to feel good about yourself. You're worth it and you deserve it. And you don't need drugs to cope with it. No other family should have to bear this pain. Take control of yourself. Be strong. Don't self-medicate yourself to hide your pain. Get help. Amy would want that for you. You know she would. You just, she didn't mean for this to happen. Amy loved every one of you. She was a good actress. Oh, be afraid. Please. 